Praise God, hallelujah, Wednesday evening worship service, hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. My name is Joey Krangin, and I am recovered through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. How awesome is it that any moment, any day, it's going to take place, that we're going to get raptured out of here really, really soon. Praise God. And it's moments like this where Holy Spirit is just asking for us as a church body to examine ourselves, amen? Examine ourselves. I know now for quite some time, Holy Spirit has been encouraging us and blessing us with life-changing revelation through His written word. But above all, agape, amen? Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit speaking to you and through you, amen? And I'm just so thankful as far as what God is doing as we worship and we just trust in Him, amen? See, we have no control over what other people's choices are, amen? We have no control over what this world is doing. We have no control. The only control that we have, believe it or not, is surrendering to Lord Jesus Christ, amen? You could either surrender to Lord Jesus Christ or surrender to this world. That's the, that's the only choice, surrender, surrender, amen? Surrender. Either you surrender to agape, hallelujah, or you surrender to what your situations are saying, to what the circumstances, right? To what the world or how the world defines you, or you surrender to the emotions, amen? And say it with me, we rebuke that, hallelujah, we rebuke that in Jesus' name, amen? We choose to just worship Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, to thank God, to be thankful, amen? That's why we say rejoice, amen? to be thankful for our Lord Jesus Christ, to be thankful that God saved us, amen, that God saved us from the pit of hell and that Holy Spirit rose us again, amen, in Christ our Lord, hallelujah. Say with me, in Christ, amen. And in a moment we're gonna pray, praise God. I'm so excited for what Holy Spirit has for us this evening, praise God. Um, as you may have seen as far as on the graphic, the graphic and the, the title of tonight's worship service is Speed Limit 55. <laughs> Praise God. And I just, I just love moments like this because Holy Spirit allowed me to, to just tell a couple stories. And um, I, I, lo I, love, I love telling stories. Amen. So um, I'm excited as far as what God has in store. Praise God. But as every worship service, before we get into it, please pray for me. Pray with me. And let's just bless the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Bless our Lord, our Savior, and allow Holy Spirit to bless us with his presence and teach us, amen. Say with me, teach me, Lord, hallelujah. Teach me, Lord, praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all of eternity. I thank you, Father, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength for Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for dying for me taking all my sins, past, present, and future, on your perfect body. Father God, on your perfect sacrifice. That Lord Jesus Christ, you are perfect and you are worthy. Thank you for all of eternity. And Lord Jesus, I know that when we thank you, we, we just simply say your name because there's power just in your name, Lord Jesus Christ. That I thank you so much that you bless us with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we are one in you, we are unified. Holy Spirit, we worship you, we thank you, we bless you. And the only way we know how to bless you, Holy Spirit, is to lift up the name of our Lord and give him all the glory, honor, and praise for all the glory is yours, Father God. And Holy Spirit, we hear you and we listen, we obey. So we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for holding us accountable, for the conviction. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us and guiding us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for being our comforter, for for being our advocate. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for being the power, the light of God that shines through us and goes before us for all of eternity. Father, we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Father God, bless us with your presence overflowing, and it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. God bless you guys, praise God. Oh, hallelujah, rejoice, amen. So I'm so excited as far as what God has in store, like I said. Um, well, this worship service started as far as thinking about a time when 
I was in a, a vehicle and I was uncomfortable. Amen. Now I know right now some of you are feeling me out, asking Holy Spirit, okay, what's going on here? I'm just going to tell you. I, I have a friend that, I, that, praise God, I keep in prayer. I have a friend. He's a pastor friend of mine. However, um, he likes to text while driving. And he likes to text while driving. And uh, he doesn't go the speed limit. You know, he, he, he always drives really, really fast. And, you know, I, I believe firmly because we have a relationship. He knows me really well. I know him really well. That we're, we're too familiar with each other. You know, it, it's just a buddy-buddy system. And uh, hear me out, church family, because uh, I beg you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, just allow Holy Spirit to bless you. Amen. Don't, don't cast judgment. Don't, don't, you know, don't try to anticipate the story. Just be in the moment and, and bless Lord Jesus Christ. Because Holy Spirit said to say it this way. That I started to feel very uncomfortable when I would go places with my friend. Now, I'm not going to say his name because it's just not right. I'm not allowed to. Um, but it was just dangerous. Can you get an amen? It was dangerous. You know, not only as far as taking your eyes off of the road and looking at your phone and texting, but also driving really, really fast, doing all that, and sometimes just using your knees to steer the steering wheel because both hands are texting, right? It just made me uncomfortable. It, it, it did not bless Holy Spirit. Can I get an amen? And I say that to you because it would really hurt me. But at the same time, in this season that I was with my friend, you know, we were going out ministering to people, amen, praying for people, you know, going to other churches as far as, you know, ministering the word and everything else. However, all this was taking place and it was very, very disruptive within me, you know. Despite what I would say, despite, you know, you put the, put the phone down and all that stuff, it was just continuous. Now, I say that to you because there was one day that, you know, we had to go pick up another friend of ours from the airport that flew in. And when we picked up this friend from the airport, and out of respect, you know, I know many of you would do the same thing, out of respect, out of kindness, just being obedient to what God has impressed on me, I, to I told our friend, you just go ahead and sit in the front seat, I'll sit in the back seat, amen? And so he sat in the front seat, and I was in the back seat. And next thing I knew, as my friend was driving, he no longer texted on the phone, put the phone away, and he drove the speed limit. And this is why our, our worship service is speed limit 55, amen? Now in this observation, because I pray in Jesus' name, you're always just worshiping Lord Jesus Christ, having a conversation with our Father through Holy Spirit in us. Amen. Pleading the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Charging all his angels around you. A hedge of protection. Amen. Father, it, praise God. Hallelujah. We don't do this religiously, right? We don't do it out of tradition. No. We do it in a relationship with God because God has us accountable as his, as his beloved children, his beloved church. Amen. Open Arms Community Church. Praise God. And what I noticed quickly was that it was a different person driving because now there's a different passenger in that front seat. Now I confess to you because I, got, I was offended, I was hurt. However, Holy Spirit blessed me with this peace and encouragement and he saved it all for such a time as this for us to worship and to be in line with the word of God and for Holy Spirit to make that written word come alive in you and in me. Amen. I'm so excited. Hallelujah. You know, have you ever seen those uh, bumper stickers that would say, um, baby on board, amen? It would say uh, precious cargo on board or maybe even um, uh, 
fragile, right? Baby on board, fragile, precious cargo. You know, whatever it is, you ever see those bumper stickers, right? Amen. And I say all that because I think of my beloved wife, praise God. And praise God, I don't text, I, you know, as busy, as busy as we get, you know, both Trish and I. You know, sometimes in the passenger seat, she will be texting, but she'll even tell you she doesn't like doing that. And, you know, this is just between us and the Lord, amen? We all have our own relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And Holy Spirit in us tells us and convicts us, right? I'm a firm believer that our God, our Father, is very merciful, loving, perfect, gracious, kind, amen? I know many of you are saying, no, duh. But listen to this. He's so merciful where he gives you and I free will. Right? That we can make the decisions based on our relationship with God. Amen? Which means, which means, I don't judge nobody. Praise God, Pastor John. We don't judge nobody. Elders, deacons, we don't. We just love you because we know that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God's love died for us. Amen? And his love manifested when Holy Spirit rose us in Christ. Hallelujah. Say that with me, in Christ. Amen? I tell you that story because Holy Spirit reminded me as far as, I mean, like as I'm standing here talking to you, as I'm standing here just being a mouthpiece, Holy Spirit's teaching us. It's like I could, I could feel it. I could feel the, you know, just being uncomfortable. And I could also feel, you know, that sense of relief when our other friend entered the vehicle and it was like night and day difference. Amen? completely different and isn't that incredible that what happens when precious cargo comes into the vehicle right my beloved wife Trish she'll say that to me all the time slow down precious cargo <laughs> amen hallelujah hallelujah and you're a beloved child of God you have Jesus Christ as Lord you know amen your value you know, hallelujah, the price that was paid. Remember, nothing's free, amen? Nothing's free. It was, there was a cost. There was a price on it, hallelujah. And we see what was paid for on that cross, amen? For Holy Spirit to live in you and in me. And truly, this is what, this, this is what takes place as far as in worship and devotionals, amen? In having all of God's beloved pray for one another, praise God. I am overwhelmed with his presence just overflowing, gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, amen. And Holy Spirit said, you remember when he came into the car, your concern was the safety, but because he's unfamiliar and he's precious cargo, your friend started to drive correctly, amen. Both hands on the steering wheel, no, the phone was put away, right, and no more speeding. It was incredible, night and day difference, amen. And Holy Spirit said, because, say this with me, precious cargo. Now, I confess to you, what I struggled there for a moment, what I struggled there for a moment was, you know, we've been friends all this time, you know me, I've, I've been telling you, you know. But I didn't say that, praise God, I didn't. I didn't say that. I gave it all to Lord Jesus Christ, and, and this is how Holy Spirit blessed us for such a time as this, with this life-changing revelation, amen. I'm going to read... I'm going to read some, some scriptures to you. And Holy Spirit said not to put up as far as what books they come from, but just to read it. So for, so for us just to hear, hallelujah, just to hear the voice of Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray that, that, you, that you, you have ears to hear, that you heard the story that I just shared with you. And glory to God, the, the impact that in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit is making in your life. Amen. And going before you. Hallelujah. And in your family. Amen. In all your loved ones. In, in, in your church family. In the community. Praise God. Because right now Holy Spirit is giving us life changing revelation. In how he will manifest virtue from heaven. You know as we pray and care for one another. As we love one another. Amen. What the word of God says. As we love one another. Because Lord Jesus Christ loved us first. Amen. Amen. Because we have his love, we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. How can you possibly do that, Holy Spirit? 
Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will seal you. I don't want to jump ahead, but Holy Spirit will seal you. Amen. And it's through Holy Spirit that that's the only way that you can love God. That's the only way that you could fulfill the first commandment of the new covenant church through Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only way you could fulfill it is through Holy Spirit. Amen. Is receiving the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, the good news of salvation. Amen. The good news of how much God loves us. Amen. When you receive that goodness, the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, praise God, only Holy Spirit, the gospel of His peace, the gospel of hope, amen, the gospel of the new covenant, only Holy Spirit can love God with all heart, soul, mind, and strength because He's the one that takes over the entire temple, amen, because He dwells within you and in me for all of eternity, hallelujah. Let's just give God praise for that, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let's get right into this. Praise God. This is what I'm going to read to you. And hallelujah, I'm so excited. Now remember, don't anticipate as far as the books or anything else. Just listen to what Holy Spirit is teaching to us. And then we're going to go ahead and, and, um, and put everything together. Praise God. And everything is going to be on your screen here in a moment. Hallelujah. Everything will just be on your screen. Praise God. Now the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is God who has given us the spirit as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come for through the spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we need to right away address as far as when Holy Spirit says that every purpose that we have in this vapor of a life, every purpose is divinely orchestrated by Father God. It's for his purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. Say it with me. His purpose. And so his purpose is every soul receiving his sacrifice, Lord Jesus Christ. Every, say it with me. Every soul. Every soul receiving Lord Jesus Christ. Now the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is God. Who has given us the spirit as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. Amen. How many of you has, has placed a deposit on something to hold it? Praise God. Isn't that cool? A deposit, right? Isn't that amazing? Like maybe, maybe I, I, I've done it in the past where I didn't have enough money, but I said, can I put a deposit on this? Can I put a deposit so, I, so you can hold it? Don't sell it to anybody. And then most of them will say, well, you give me a deposit, 10%, you know, like layaway. Put a deposit down, right? And we'll save it for you. We won't sell it. We'll save it. You come up with the rest of the money, praise God, and come back and buy it. Amen? A deposit. Don't you love that's what Father God did through Christ our Lord? Amen? That when you receive Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, of course, Lord Jesus Christ said paid in full. Right? Paid in full. Te telestai. Paid in full. Now you think, you think about it, Lord Jesus Christ said paid in full. Hallelujah, the magnitude as far as what agape did on that cross, right? I know you could see his body on that cross. You could see our Lord. You could see him just drowning in his own blood. Our blood, amen? For him to look up to heaven, right? Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Right? First time ever separated from the Father. First time in all of eternity to go and make that payment. Amen? Last time I checked, when you make a payment, right? Last time I checked, when you make a payment, do you hand the money over to the person, but then you don't let go? You just, you just take it back? 
That's not paying for it. Can I get an amen? You better let go of that money or that's stealing, right? That's bad, right? Last time I checked, praise God, and this happens throughout the whole world. That's the way you can minister, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? That's another story Holy Spirit just said I could say, you know? In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, all glory to God, Holy Spirit said, pay for this person's groceries. Trish and I, we went ahead and did it. The guy behind us said, man, that's a really nice thing you guys did. That's really great. That's really kind to you guys. Holy Spirit said, right away, tell him. And I said, that's what Lord Jesus Christ did for us. Little did I know this person is not a believer in Lord Jesus Christ. Actually denied Lord Jesus Christ. And he had some words to say, some choice words to say. And I said, you can say whatever you want to say, but this is what Lord Jesus Christ did for me. And you even said that it was good. Amen? You see, I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm not here to, to, to make people think the way I think or worship the way I worship. I'm not. I am here to bless my Lord Jesus Christ and to allow Holy Spirit's anointing to flow every which way He wants to flow. Amen? So remember, when God paid that price, hallelujah, His payment was, here's my son. Amen? Do that with me. Praise God. Do that with me. He let go. Amen? And this is why God, hallelujah, not only being God Almighty, Alpha and Omega, Agape, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? Not only being God Almighty, but God being so merciful, that's why He encourages us, let go. Amen? Let go. And so these are those moments, hallelujah, wasn't even prepared to tell that story, but Holy Spirit said, said it, is that when we know that our purpose for God, when we know that our God purchased identity, our purpose for God is to show His light, right? Is, is, is to go wherever He says to go and to let His light shine through us, to pray for one another, to be a blessing to one another. God says this is His Spirit that He has deposited in you and in me, guaranteeing what is to come. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise for that. Amen? That, this means that you hear from God Almighty and you're being obedient and in worship, in intimacy, in your secret room, in your workplace, in the vehicle. You're hearing from God. You're talking to Him. You're allowing His Holy Spirit to change you. You're allowing Holy Spirit, right, to, 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 just, to just bless God. Say that with me. Bless God. Hallelujah. This is the fruit of Holy Spirit in your life and in my life. That you have the seal of God through Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. That you know, Father, you know me by name. I hear you. I hear you. Father, I obey. Oh, Father, I didn't listen. I didn't. Forgive me, Father God. I know I'm forgiven, but I ask for your forgiveness. And Father God, help me. Change me. Amen. See, this is the relationship that we have with God Almighty. Hallelujah. Next, praise God. For through the Spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope. Amen. For through the Spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope. Hallelujah. We touched on that a little bit Sunday. Amen. I asked Brother PJ, I said, Brother PJ, is it your righteousness or is it God's righteousness? Amen. Right? And immediately he took it all to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Remember, it's not based on us, it's based on Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And when we have this, when we have this life-changing revelation, as we live this vapor of a life, hallelujah, because Lord Jesus is coming back for us soon, amen? Then when we live this way, that it's all based on the faith. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. It's His righteousness. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. It's His holiness. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. You see what God is doing already? God is saying, my beloved child. Amen. That's right. You just let go. Let go. Amen. Stay focused. Praise God. Stay focused on me. And as you stay focused on me, as you believe in me, amen. Remember, as you believe in me, right? God is saying, do you believe in me? And as you believe in God, when you believe in Lord Jesus Christ, when you believe in God, Holy Spirit in you and in me, Manifest in the overflow. Amen. Manifest in the overflow. Praise God. Next, 
And hope does not put us to shame because God's love, say it with me, God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, who has been given to us, amen. God's love was poured out, hallelujah. God's love has a name, amen. Many of you beat me to it. His name is, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ, amen. And God's love was poured out. Amen. Now, when God's love was poured out, when his blood was poured out, did his blood just pour out on the floor or does it, did his blood pour out on you and on me? Amen. Hallelujah. Every drop. Amen. Every drop. My Lord, my Savior, my God did it for me. Amen. Agape. Hallelujah. Did it for me. Amen. Say it with me. God did it for me. Hallelujah. Now, when we know this, when we say God did it for me, his love is poured into our hearts, right? Into our hearts. And then the word of God says, through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. This Holy Spirit that we speak of, that we worship, that we listen and obey to. Holy Spirit now, he is the deposit, amen? He is the deposit that guarantees, guarantees that when that trumpet goes off, hallelujah, we are raptured out, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we go back once again to like those bumper stickers that we were talking about earlier. Praise God. The precious cargo, amen. Baby on board, right, or fragile, handle with care. Amen, church family. You see, when I, when I told you this story, glory to God, Holy Spirit says, stop right there. And you see, I got crunchy. And this was years ago, because I was like, you know, Lord, why? You know, what is that? And now, glory to God, here it is, amen, July 2020, praise God, the Holy Spirit says, this past Sunday, Elder Charlie demonstrated the anointing of Holy Spirit, and we are, we are all, hallelujah, temples of Holy Spirit, amen. You have Jesus Christ as Lord. Guess what? The old broken is dead and gone. Amen? The old broken glass, right? The old whatever it was, it's dead and gone. Amen? The newness of life come when you call upon Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit resurrects you in the newness of life in Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit demonstrated that. Amen? In what Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated on that cross for you and I. He took all the brokenness on his body. Remember, he took it all on his perfect body. Is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Amen. He is our Lord. He is our God. He is our Savior. He is the Messiah. Amen. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated what took place on his body that he took that to hell. Amen. He took it. Praise God. He took it, all sin, all sin in all this world. Hallelujah. See, right there, we can't even comprehend. Praise God. We have, we have many, many souls right now that are, that are being woken up, that, that, that are being shook right now. Based on how this world is acting and everything, there's many souls right now that scales has fell, fell off their eyes and they're saying, Lord, I need you. Right? Lord Jesus, I need you. I call you my Savior. Hallelujah. And the glory of God is, Lord Jesus Christ did this over 2,000 years ago, right? But guess what? All that soul has to do is say, Lord Jesus, help me. Come. Amen. Daddy. Right? Has to be through Lord Jesus Christ and only through Lord Jesus Christ. Because he is the only way. Amen. And when you call upon Lord Jesus Christ, any soul throughout any... Throughout any, any place, any nationality, any race, it doesn't matter. Any soul, right, that calls on Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what religion, what cult, what things you've done wrong. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, just call out on him right now. Lord Jesus Christ. And right there, all sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. And so Lord Jesus demonstrated that in that glass that Holy Spirit used in worship service to, to, to just show us who we are in Christ. There, there, is, no, there is no more broken, brokenness. Hallelujah. We are saved. We have salvation. 
Amen. When you say you're saved, I'm saved. Amen. Can't be more saved. No. No. You're saved. Amen. And when you're saved, hallelujah, Holy Spirit now imparts in you and in me his holy presence. Praise God. And you witness as far as how Elder Charlie walked around this, right? Because Holy Spirit spoke that word over him. Amen. This is you and this is, this is my anointing, my blessing. And I asked him, are you, many of you are here, if you weren't, praise God, go, go through fill in the blank as far as our worship service. Holy Spirit's a teacher, he'll bless you as if you were right here with us, amen? And you saw how careful he was as he maneuvered, as he lived life, walking throughout God's holy sanctuary, amen? And you see, and this is what Holy Spirit says right now. That that story that I mentioned to you as far as precious cargo, the story that I mentioned to you as far as my friend and how he drove when it was just me and him in the vehicle and how dangerous it was and, and how uncomfortable it made me. You know, I wouldn't even, I, I couldn't even speak. I, I really couldn't. I was just, he would talk to me and I'd just say words quickly, but I was just so consumed with, why are you driving like this? Why aren't you looking at the road? Amen. But then you saw what took place when another friend of ours came in from the airport, come into the vehicle, and everything was put away, right? And the attention was back on the road, right? Even driving the speed limit, right? Speed limit 55. You see, this is what transpires in a relationship when we believe in Lord Jesus Christ, amen? When we believe in agape, when we believe in Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit who lives in you and in me. You see, not only what the Holy Spirit displayed through Elder Charlie as he walked around carefully, carefully, all attention on God, all attention on the anointing Holy Spirit, making sure that he doesn't spill any drop, wasn't careless at all, amen? You see, in the same way, when we live this life, knowing that we have this impartation and the value, the price that was paid, through the perfect and holy one, Lord Jesus Christ, we now live this life in the speed limit, right? We now live this life being cautious of the precious cargo that is within, amen? The precious cargo. Say that with me, precious cargo. Hallelujah. You see, sometimes this world wants to take us through some things that we forget our value. No more in Jesus' name. Say it with me, no more in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit wants to bless you with a fresh anointing today. And I pray that you receive it fully. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. And by the way, all the scripture that we read today, amen, all of the scripture we read today, from 2 Corinthians, from Galatians, from Romans, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, and Romans, amen, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, and Romans, it's all from chapter 5, verse 5. Amen? <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> and isn't it incredible that we read from three different books, we read from three different books issued under the New Covenant to the New Covenant churches. Amen? And that's us. Hallelujah. Say it with me. That's me. And we read those three different books, just one after the other. Hallelujah. And it all comes from chapter 5, verse 5. And that's where the inspiration come as far as how Holy Spirit wanted to take this story and the worship title back to the written word as far as chapter 5, verse 5. Amen. I pray that this message blesses you today. As always, hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. I am overwhelmed. As, uh, 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 I pray as you are. Amen. I could barely keep up. Holy Spirit right now is just blessing us with life-changing revelation. Hallelujah. That when we know the value, the price that was paid on that cross for God to live in you and in me, right? Are we going to live this life like my friend, just texting and driving and speeding? Listen, beloved church family, don't, don't text and drive. Don't speed, amen? Don't, don't do none of that. It's not worth it. It's not. 
I know, I know some of you say, well, that's just the way I drive. That's always, well, that's between you and the Lord. But I have to be obedient and speak that. Amen? Don't, don't, it's not worth it. Right? And see, and God is saying right now, when you know the impartation that took place, when you know who lives in you, who lives in me, his name is Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now, you have that precious cargo for all of eternity. And see, just like his righteousness, his holiness, amen? Just like Lord Jesus Christ, who lives on the inside of you and me, makes us, hallelujah, makes us holy, makes us righteous, amen? Makes us beloved children of God. I pray in Jesus' name that as we, as we bless Holy Spirit in, inside, because we believe in Lord Jesus Christ, that we won't live this life carelessly, amen? That we won't live this life making Holy Spirit feel uncomfortable like I was in the back seat. Amen? You see, I say this and I'm going to say it all the time until we're raptured out of here. I thank God that I'm no longer in the driver's seat. I thank God that I can't even touch the steering wheel if I wanted to. That I'm just in the back seat and he's my driver. Amen? And I know that when my God is the driver, hallelujah, Surely, His goodness, His mercy, His blessings follow me all the days of my life. Amen. Beloved church family, I pray once again that this message bless you and I thank God for you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word that you spoke, Father. Speed limit 55. Hallelujah. And Father God, thank you so much for taking me back to those moments. And Father, I pray. That as your holy church hears your word, Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, that we bless you with just a fresh anointing within us. We bless you, Father God, with maybe an area in our life, Father, that we close off. Maybe an area in our life, Father God, that we've been living recklessly. We've been driving over the speed limit, Father, or we've been texting and, and driving or just living carelessly. Father, I pray in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name, my Lord. I pray, Holy Spirit, that we open that door and allow you now to be the driver, Father. And Father God, I pray as your holy church, Open Arms Community Church, with all my beloved brothers and sisters, worshipers of yours, Father, in spirit and truth, that you would bless us, Father God, right now with a fresh anointing, your presence flowing, Father. And Father God, we pray for our, our pastors, our, our elders, our deacons, all of our church family, Father God, we pray for these souls, Father God, that are running away in disobedience or those that have fallen away, Father. We lift them all up. Father, you know who they are. We just lift them all up, Father, because we don't limit you. And we thank you so much, Father God, that all your angels are protecting us and ministering to us and fighting for us. And Father God, we thank you that you bring in a harvest, Father, like never before. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Rejoice. God bless you guys. Praise God. Oh, I'm so excited in this new season. Amen. Hallelujah. Trish and I, we thank God for you all every day. We pray for you guys more than every day. All of us do. Hallelujah. All your leadership do. Praise God. Pray for us as well. Beloved church family. Hallelujah. Love you so much. Praise God. Um, my goodness. If I don't see you Saturday, I'll see you in this next half an hour. Praise God. God is good. All the time, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Love you, church family. Praise God. Let's be a blessing to God first. Amen. And in the presence of Holy Spirit, hallelujah, allow his presence to just love everybody else. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Remember, we got to love everybody. Amen. God bless you. Love you guys. Mwah.